Hey everyone, I've been working on the Pro Pulse Pro T100 buggy and truck. Clean it up nice. We got the well, the new rims are already dirty, of course, but and everything's dirty from driving it. But new brand new body on, new antenna, new body, new rims. Here's the old ones, just little knobbies. This one has the dual motor conversion in it. This one does not yet. We got new aluminum oil filled shocks for both. New antenna tubes to make them dressed up nice. That'll last like what, two seconds before they are dirty. Here's the dual motor conversion for the truck. Um, here's, here's what half of what little aluminum plate the dual motors mount to. A box of goodies. We've got more gears. This one needs the gears replaced. Because remember I, I fried that with the 3S battery. And then I, I fried the electronics with the uh, the motor still work. The receiver still works. But the ESC, the speed control, that, that don't work no more. Fried that right out with a 4S. Oil shocks, aluminum, oil filled. Here's their controllers. Yeah, remember, these are Radio Shack trucks, so actually pretty good for a Radio Shack truck. All, all the parts you can replace and things you can do, actually, it's pretty good. Pretty much everything, like uh, any of the other trucks, is replaceable. Well, I've got all there's a rear differential there. Uh, get the top off. See, this has the. This has already got the conversion of the dual motors in it. This slot was the slot where the old battery went in, and right in here, when that motor didn't used to be there, <laughs> that battery is a, it's two batteries hooked together with the wire. One's a small one, one's a longer one. It's actually four, but there's two in each pack. And that fit right in there until you do the dual motor, then it don't fit no more. But that's okay. There's lots of 3S on the market that fit right in this slot really nice. So yeah, this one has to be done yet. Shocks on both. Um, this was the old battery tie down. You take two clips off to get that out, you know, every time. I guess I guess the way the wires were you could have charged it right in the truck. I don't like charging batteries inside of anything because then if they start a fire, you got a big mess going on. Anyways, that's what I've been working on.